Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about Halloween mask. This is going to be a Bolo category video. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. If you like these types of videos, go to my playlist, Bolo Category Videos, and check out over 100 videos just like this in different categories. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I like to teach and learn about Bolo items. All right, let's get started with some big money Bolos that we all need to be searching for when we're out at thrift stores and garage sales and estate sales. So let's get started with the first item here. It is a Dawn Post Frankenstein mask. Dawn Post is definitely a brand that you want to be looking for. Now this one is like new with the original tags. Whoa, check that out. I don't know why that's in the picture. But anyway, this sold for $450 plus shipping. And I'm going to tell you that that condition is just amazing. And you can see that feedback was left. So I will verify the items in this um, video to uh, make sure that they have all been feedback left so that you guys know that it was a good sale. The next item is this other very rare Dawn Post, 1998-99. It's a mutant mask. How crazy is that? And it looks like they've got some other masks for sale. You know, I think uh, better photos and more photos probably would have helped this listing, but it's still sold for $430 free shipping. And there you go. Positive feedback. Let's see. Let's look at this one. This one sold for 152. Sometimes it's a great way to then click on some of their other feedback. Um, it says that they relisted the item, but there was positive feedback left. So I'm not really sure. 152, let's see, relisted the item. I don't know, that's really weird because they got positive feedback on it. So, huh, never seen anything like that. Okay, so this is a Scream mask metallic tagged rare ghost face and it is green i don't know why it says red metallic because it is green metallic um so guessing that is maybe it glows i don't know let's see if we can zoom in here oh see that one's purple hmm metallic color finish i'm wondering if maybe they built their listing off of someone else's and forgot to change it to green that's what I'm guessing happened. This sold for $145.50. Um, I have sold the purple mask before. I dug it out of a mystery thrift store mystery box, actually. And I can't remember what mine sold for, but it was a big money bolo for sure. But mine was not new with tags and it still did well. And you can see here they uh, got positive feedback. The next item is this vintage Halloween mask, Snow White Dwarf Mask. So this is one of the seven dwarfs. <laughs> How funny is that? He sold for $150 plus shipping. And feedback was left. Positive feedback. The next item is an orange Halloween ghost face mask. So these scream masks are, they've been trending for quite a while. I don't know if they were ever stopped trending. Um, just, just crazy what they go for. Uh, this one sold for $245 plus shipping. And feedback, positive feedback. The next item is this Vintage Traveler's Deluxe Count Dracula Vampire Mask. Latex, um, you can see here, very uh, detailed mask. Sold for $257.99 on auction, had 18 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm guessing this Traveler's is maybe the brand. I was trying to see if I could find... I don't know. So they're showing you here. I don't know. I don't know what Travelers Deluxe means. This one is also that Travelers. I don't, is that maybe a show that this is a part of? Or is that the brand? Let's see if it shows down below. 
I don't see a brand from the 1970s. Came in a vintage lot. Okay, it says, I have been told by several collectors that this mask was made by the Traveler's Company who specializes in more affordable masks for kids and it falls under the hairy mask category simply called monkey with black hair. I cannot guarantee this information to be true, but it is what I have been told by collectors. All right, there you go, guys. That's a little more information. So this was probably the same seller that sold both of these. Either way, it sold for $400 and this one sold for $257. And right there you can see is positive feedback. And here's another one they sold for $421. 95. So yeah, definitely some money in vintage Halloween masks. This one is a rare death studios, Jonathan mask, vintage Halloween mask. So, uh, death studios is another, uh, brand to be on the lookout for this one sold for 350 plus shipping and positive feedback was left on that one. This one is vintage uncle creepy, original Warren publishing latex Halloween mask from 1967. This one sold for $534.86. So, I mean, sometimes they're just not marked, but you can tell a good quality mask when you see it. Uh, this one is actually marked right here on the back where it's cut. So $534.86 for that. And that one, positive feedback was left. The next item is a... <laughs> Pink fluorescent Fun World Division. Again, you're going to want to look under the chin. Fun World Division on this one. Sometimes they will say Easter Unlimited. These range um, from bread and butter to big money. But if you can find the older ones, they can just go for crazy amounts. $687 on this plus shipping. Positive feedback. Right here is another one. This one sold for $994. It does glow. I am not sure um, if this is a first generation or what. There are uh, YouTube videos that will teach you what to look for. Um, measurements, different shapes of the nose, different shapes of the mouth um, that help you determine if it is a first generation uh, or a Gen 1 is usually what you'll see in the title. This one sold for $994 plus shipping. It was an auction and positive feedback was left for that. That's that one went really high and I don't really know why. Look at this, you guys. I have never seen a white one. I hope to find a white one someday. Um, crazy here. Scream ghost face gen one, fantastic faces, weeping ghost white. So I don't know. Do you get all of these? I'm a little confused. Um, We'll include the mint white goofy ghost face as well. So that looks like they're just throwing that in. And this one sold on best offer. So uh, positive feedback was left. And then let's look at this one. Because this one also sold for, um, I don't know what it sold for, but they got positive feedback. And that one says Gen 1. So there you go. There's another Gen 1 that sold for big money. Um, and I went into Terapeak to search so I could figure out what this ended up selling for. And it looks like it sold two different times, one for $2,300 and one time for $2,400. I'm not sure which one the feedback. I'm guessing one did not get paid for and one did. And that was the feedback that we saw. Now, mindful Terry. Terry over at Mindful Recycle, this is her YouTube channel. She is absolutely fantastic, a major bolo finder. She sources at estate sales a lot, and the stuff that she walks out with is amazing. Um, she must get there like right when they open. And I know that she has said, you know, I know it's going to be 50% off. I'm going to wait and go back for that. But she is just a big money bolo finder. Definitely check out her channel. She sold this mask. It is a Dawn Post vintage Halloween mask. This was featured in one of my videos. If I remember correctly, she picked this up for $5 and sold it for $249. And I think she got it at an estate sale. But you will see this in another uh, featured members video. Now, let's look at 
Dawn Post masks because Dawn Post is definitely one that you want to be looking for. Just really, um, huh, look at these. These are just hands. Really detailed, amazing work. So Dawn, Pal, uh, Dawn Post, you definitely want to look for the scream masks. I think I've found four or five scream masks. Most of mine have sold in the $100 range, um, which is still a big money bolo to me. Uh, I would love to find one that goes in for five, six hundred dollars, but I'm definitely happy that I found any at all. Um, but these are all Dawn Post, so definitely uh, be looking for those masks. And then here are the Scream. Um, I just typed in Scream mask, and I'm searching highest to lowest. Um, I'm not gonna check and verify all these. These were the ones that. Um, I showed you earlier, some of these I've showed you, the ones I verified I showed you, but you can see, I'm guessing a lot of these did not get paid for. Um, I know that I have sold quite a few and a lot of times they don't get paid by the first person that buys it. And then I have to relist it. Like you can see this one here, this was relisted because probably they didn't pay. Um, here's that pink one that I did verify with uh, feedback. But scream mask, just crazy. But let's look at, let's go into lowest first. Just so you guys understand that not all of them are going to be crazy money. I hate grid view. I'm like a list view person. What are you guys? Um, okay. So you can see some of these models are not vintage. They are not retired. They're just kind of the knockoffs, newer versions. They're not going to sell for as much. So don't be um, fooled by those. And you can kind of tell by the, the plastic. I think I sold one of those. I sold that guy. Or I have him listed. I don't know. I can't remember. I know I've sold that one. Um, but I'm just going to show you again some of these that did not sell for big money. Just so you know. Okay. Never seen some of these. Whoa. Look at these faces. So the traditional screen mask uh, face is the one that goes for the most. Okay. So that was what I did here. So. All right, Death Studios was the other brand that, that we talked about. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through here and show you some of the other ones by Death Studios. Again, very detailed and, you know, higher quality masks. And again, there's always going to be bread and butter in each of these brands, some that don't sell for as much, people that start them at auctions and maybe people aren't looking for them at the time. Um, and then they sell for way less than they should have. So be careful. I always say start your auctions at the minimum you want to take. And that was the screen masks. All right, you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you have sold a Halloween mask for big money. Let me know what it was, where you got it, what you paid for it. I know you can't put like a screenshot down there or anything like that. But um, Halloween masks. They can just go for a lot. I know I have quite a few in my store, not like a ton, but I do pick them up when I see them if they are good quality, even if they are not branded. I have this one, um, it's a clown and it's really good quality. And I have another one that has like light up eyes that is absolutely amazing. I honestly cannot believe it hasn't sold. I thought it was just gonna be a big money bolo that was gonna fly out of my store and it hasn't. So maybe I need to um, work on my title and redo the title and maybe... I don't know. I feel like it's a good listing, but it hasn't sold. Anyway, thank you guys so much. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Again, I've said again quite a bit in this video. Sorry. Um, I have over 100 category videos just like this. So check it out. Check out some of my what sold videos. My channel is all about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Thanks for watching.